<laughs> Say what I want like I'm Taylor My back kind of white like Taylor Sweet Taylor yeah. We're back at LJ's reaction Today we're getting to Chloe with Treat Me At Genius Verified Now I can't tell you why I feel like watching this But I feel like watching it And we back and we better And it's a marathon So I'm just watching whatever I feel like watching I saw it on YouTube I said you know what Why not Open Click tab Boom We here now Alright But being that now I'm talking to you watching the video, I used to ignore you. I used to just make the video and ignore you, but now I'm talking to you directly. Like the video. You're wildin'. You're wildin' right now. Like the video. This man's wildin'. This, this your man? Like the video. Subscribe. Come on, you play with me. But, Miss uh, Chloe, a.k.a. Genius, or a.k.a. whatever it is we're watching right now, you know what I'm saying? In case you don't know how we get down here at the LJ's React stage, if I think that this damn... Uh, rendition of your your song treat me that I've heard a little bit of you know what I'm saying but we're gonna see how you do it in the verify whatever if, if I think the whole video trash it gets a damn mouth to the bottle boy you, you dumb but if it's a good video and I liked it and I like the song I barely heard the song really you know what I'm saying but we're gonna see if I like the song anyway you know what I'm saying but if it's fire it get a glip easy you know what I'm saying it get a glip easy you dig me? we outside let's get into it and then some days I love myself a bit more some days I feel a bit more confident and some days I love myself a bit more and other days I'm like, who the fuck is this in the mirror? But I think we have to realize that we attract the frequency that we live on. So if we constantly walk around doubting ourselves, saying negative things about ourselves, we're only gonna attract people and experiences that make us feel that same exact way. In order for me to attract what I want, I have to love myself, I have to say, Wow, Chloe, you are beautiful. I'm still learning to do that. Quite frankly, even now with like make. Yeah, she's spit right now. I ain't gonna lie. I thought like I thought they would they would have been cut. Like she's spit right now though. Like you really got you gotta lay yourself, boy. You should learn to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? And if you think that I can understand, maybe you can tell me how to You think I'm saying like no cap? You feel me? Like she doing her thing though. Like she really spin. I mean, even get to the song. I'm like, damn, jazz hands. Yeah. Hey, wow, Chloe, you are beautiful. I'm still learning to do that. Quite frankly, even now with like makeup and hair and stuff, like I still doubt myself. And it's like, I mean, honestly, makeup isn't what makes you beautiful. Okay. Makeup is not what makes you beautiful. All right. I think a lot more people should walk around barefaced. But I've heard from women that a lot of times they're they not, you know, they do it. It makes them feel good. They also do it for other women. No cap. Um, you know, sometimes they do it to impress men, but a lot of times they really just do it for themselves. They do it for themselves, makes them look feel like they look good, or they do it for other women. You know what I'm saying? But you should be comfortable in your own skin and face. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times I ain't going to, I'm going to say a lot of times, but sometimes I'm not going to hold you. Okay? Sometimes I'm not going to hold you. It'd be like a whole different person. It's like Jim Carrey in the mask. I'd be mad. I'd be like, yo, bro, with the makeup on, you was a nine and a half. Take the makeup off, you down to a six. I'm like, bro, like, what's going on? You are a magician. Once again, not all women, though. Quite frankly, even now with like makeup and hair and stuff, like I still doubt myself. And it's like, if I put this song on, I'm like, okay, I can't expect someone else to treat me the way I want to be treated and love me the way I want to be loved mm. if I can't do it myself. Talk to him. Spin. I love how beautifully chaotic this song feels. And even when we are mixing the song, we're like, do we raise the sample up? Do we raise it down? Do we raise down some of the backgrounds? What do we do? But I just love it. And I'm constantly inspired by Tune Yards because they do that in such a beautiful way with- Who? Tune Yards? I just love it. And I'm constantly- Who's a Tune Yard? What's, who's Tune Yard? Let me know. Who's Tune Yard? Inspired by Tune Yards because they do that in such a beautiful way with all of the layering of the production and the vocals. And it's like layered in such a. Oh, I get, yeah, I don't know. I was going to say their production, uh, like they, they produce songs or something like that. Um, let me know. If they, they're producers, let me know who they produce for. Such a beautiful way with all of the layering of the production and the vocals. And it's like layered in such a masterful way. You hear everything, but it's also like you're just overly stimulated. And that's what I wanted this song to feel like, you know, with the verses. I'm so inspired by Khalees and Floetry mm. and Jill. Floetry, okay. Hey, maybe I don't know as much music, music as I thought. You know what I'm saying? Floetry and Khalees? Who is that? <laughs> I'm like, wait, are Floetry and, and Floetry and Khalees? That's what's up. She know what's up. You know what I'm saying? She know her musics. Okay, that's how you know. But like, and she's been around people like Beyonce and stuff like that from a kid and you them. You know what I'm saying? She was an actor and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out her for real. Like she 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 went back in the archives. You know what I'm saying? Jill Scott 
um, is, is, is that is that woman though? She outside. Joe Scott is a, is, a, is a banger. You know what I'm saying? She's a walking banger. And of course, I, Erica Badu a walking banger too. That's a big fact. You know, with the verses, I'm so inspired by Khalees and Floetry and Jill Scott and Erica. And then you have, of course, the Queen Bohemian Rhapsody reference at the end. So it's just so much fun. How I ain't lie, we almost two minutes to the video. She ain't said a lyric. <laughs> she ain't said a lyric, boy. She can talk. Queen Bohemian Rhapsody reference at the end. So it's just so much fun how all of my inspirations all kind of come together. You know, you go broke, try to handle me. Take it from someone who know how to handle me. This is priceless. There's nothing that you can do or try to say. It'll never really amount to how much I give it to myself. So it's like, you gonna go broke trying to handle me, boy. You could try to keep up, but I don't think you ever will, but you can try. Take it from someone who knows how to handle me. You're not talking about another significant other or another companion, you're talking about yourself. I'ma need that. Re Damn, that's a ball though. <laughs> like, it wasn't even just like, a plain like, oh, you just can't uh, uh, keep up monetary wise. That's what's up. About another significant other or another companion, you're talking about yourself. I'ma need that real grown kind of energy. Mm. Huh? Do you know, do you know? It's just oof. like. I go lie, she, even with just like the rendition of that, I'm like, ooh, wait, hold on. Like, <laughs> you giving some energy right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You giving off some energy right now. No cap. <laughs> okay, talk to me. Grown kind of seductive energy, huh? Do you know? Do you know? It's just like, do you know? Do you know? Oh! No, hold on, run it back. Real grown kind of energy, huh? Do you know? Do you know? It's just like this gentle calmness. It's like this maturity. It's like you don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to play any games. You just get it. Mm. That real grown kind of energy. Because you didn't. Yeah, we don't play no games. We know we want and we do it. That's grown man. Play any games. You just get it. That real grown kind of energy. And you can you want me. Ain't no shady. Energy. Cause you're dealing with a lot of competition. You're gonna have to do a lot of ass kissing. You know I got someone with the time to listen. Tell me, boy, do you know, do you know? Nah, when she hits that do you know, oh my gosh. I'm in a new universe, bruh. When shorty hits that do you know, do you know, my soul leaves my body, boy. Like, she need to stop doing that to me. I'm alone at home. So that's really what, what that portion means there. <laughs> Hold on, I missed that. Oh, I'm wild. I literally skipped like half the video now. What's going on? Take it from someone who knows how to handle me. Um, it's just like this. Cause you're dealing with a lot of competition. You're gonna have to do a lot of ass kissing. You know I got someone with the time to listen. Tell me boy, do you know, do you know? There's a lot of people who would like a chance. And that's not just with me, but that's with any girl who knows and believes in her confidence and her strength and power. That's what it attracts. So it's like, there's a- I feel that. It do. It do though. I, that's, that's my favorite kind of women. I ain't gonna lie. Like, one that like know that don't that she know she don't need a dude like that's literally my my favorite kind of woman. You don't need me, but I want you, and like I like that. You feel me? Like you shouldn't necessarily need another person. It may get to that point when you when you like are with somebody so much that you may get to the point of like you feel like you need them. You feel me? But like you know, in a general sense, you really probably shouldn't need people like that. You feel me? But in competition, though, it really, I gotta want that girl for me to be competing. Cause I'm not, bro. The ass kissing, I get it, though. Cause I've definitely sent for girls I've wanted. Let me not act like I haven't. But it's like, man, ass kissing, though. Knows and believes in her confidence and her strength and power. That's what it attracts. So it's like, there's a lot of competition. And in order to keep up, you're gonna have to pay me with compliments, do a lot of ass kissing, make me feel loved and important. When I'm saying, you know, I got someone with the time to listen, I'm again referencing myself. I want someone to be there and to like be my best friend and to talk with me. And it's like, I'm the best listener to myself. I hear all my most deep, most inner thoughts. Yeah, that's a bar too. Now she's spinning. I like her, I like her smile though. I'm a, I'm a sucker for smiles, you know what I'm saying? Smiles is like, that's what do it for me. Like, smiles is just like, yo, you know, if you got a bad smile, 
I'm not even trying to look at your face for real. <laughs> talk with me and it's like, I'm the best listener to myself. I hear all my most deep, most inner thoughts. I, 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 I do it every night. Show me a good time. You can do, I let you try, 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 try. So I've always been inspired. In Her vocals are that clean and crispy. On the live version? Wow. Nah, I didn't know Chloe was as talented, bro. I tell you, I've never heard a Chloe song. And I still haven't. I'm, I'm, but, but it feels like I have. It feels like I'm in the studio with Shorty. Bro, it feels like I'm in the studio with Shorty, bro. Word to me. Word to me. Word to me. You. Try, 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 try. So I've always been inspired and loved uh, tweets. Oops, oh my record. And I love how it has double meaning. Tweet. So when, Yo, she has mentioned people I've never heard in my life. Who is Tweet? What's Tweet's hit song? Of a uh, tweet. Oh, Tweet. Who, so who is Tweet's? What's her hit song? His? What? Oops, oh my record. And I love how it has double meaning. Is that where Britney Spears got Oops, I Did It Again? What's going on? meaning so in the pre i kind of really wanted to do that they are like i could show me a good time outside in the world and also when i'm alone at home <laughs> so that's really what <laughs> what that portion what you mean by that means there <laughs> nah it's freaky ass i ain't gonna lie it's freaky ass. i know she freaky though but freaky ass this isn't to that laugh bro listen to how she sings these words freaky ass i ain't gonna lie she is a stunner but respectfully though i ain't trying to make you uncomfortable do it every night show me a good time you can do i let you try 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 so i've always been inspired and loved uh tweets oops oh my record and i love how it has double meaning so in the pre i kind of really wanted to do that they're like i could show me a good time outside in the world and also when i'm alone at home <laughs> so that's really what <laughs> what that portion means there <laughs> This right here, your chance. Learn it from the best. Here's what you gotta do. Yo. I get the appeal. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I get the appeal. I get the appeal. Like, Shorty can sing. Like, imagine her, imagine her, like, just serenading you, bro. Like, imagine she, like, imagine you, like, you on the bed, right? We ain't gonna get too deep into, you know, relax. But, like, you on the bed, right? And she creeping up towards you. It's your chance. It's right here. It's your chance. Learn it from the best. Like, imagine she just creeping up on you, just seductively singing. Like, come on, son. I ain't gonna lie. My crabbies is being patty right now. Pause. From the best. Here's what you gotta do. Here's what you gotta do. You have to stimulate my mind as well as my soul and my spirit. Mm. Yes. That's a glit for those. Man, Chloe, Chloe might have got a fan out of me just off, just off this video alone. Like she's in, or intelligent, articulate. You know what I'm saying? She's not a slur, at least from like from what I can tell. Even like the lyrics may make it seem like she's slurring, and probably the visuals, because the visuals she's also you know what I'm saying doing her thing, whatever. But you know she she like. Just cause she may come off like that, you're not just gonna get in her in her gooch cause she's showing you what what like uh, ninety eight percent cleavage. You ain't just gonna get in her coochie holes. You know what I'm saying? That's not what she what she doing. You know you gotta you gotta you gotta talk to here. You gotta play with here. You gotta hit me in my my Jimmy Neutron brain. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure you they're just throwing it up for no reason. Here's what you gotta do. You have to stimulate my mind as well as my soul and my spirit. You have to be very kind and funny. I love to laugh. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. I, I ain't saying this is what somebody said. If you can make her laugh and giggle, you can make that ass clap and jiggle. <laughs> I ain't make it up. You feel me? I ain't make it up. But um, nah, for real though, like 
I'm an attractive dude, keep it a stack, you know, I found myself to be attractive, but like the things that helped me when I wasn't that attractive at times, I was always pretty cute, you know what I'm saying? But like, I was like short, had a big head, whatever, no hair, but I was always funny. You can make a girl laugh, you in there, I ain't gonna lie, you in there, facts. You can make a girl laugh, you are in there. That's word to me, facts. My mind, as well as my soul and my spirit, you have to be very kind and funny. I love to laugh. I like to think of myself as a comedian. And you have to have like really great work ethic and drive. All right, I don't care. I gotta keep it stack. I gotta keep. I keep it stack always. I'm not saying women aren't funny. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying some women they be jagging and they funny. They tell jokes and it's trash. I'm telling you, as a person that's been in several relationships, had several conversations with women, the ones that hourly say that some of the ones that say they're hourly funny. A lot of times, if you say you're funny, are you that funny? I don't know. These are all these are all things just popping in my head. You feel me? But you know, but but um, a lot of women do be like, "Yo, yeah, I'm mad funny. I'm mad goofy." I ain't gonna lie. Men and women, you say you're goofy, you're not goofy. Like you probably are just mad, mischie mischievous, and annoying and immature. Tell about I'm goofy. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm wallet. I know you know somebody on Instagram story shared something. I'm so goofy. You're not goofy, bro. It's not a it's not a Mickey Mouse show. Like come on. I like to think of myself as a comedian and you have to have like really great work ethic and drive because I want to be challenged. Sound like she describing me. <laughs> I'm not talking, hey, relax. I ain't saying none of that though. I'm not shooting a shot. That's not what I just did. And you have to have like really great work ethic and drive because I want to be challenged. I want to be excited and be like, oh, if you're doing that, well, then I can do this better. It's like a challenge almost in a way. So I think if I had to give like a playbook, those would be like the top three, four things. Treat me like a treat me. Yeah, you know I do it right. Treat me like a treat me. Oh, what made me feel so nice? Treat me like a treat me. Love me like I love me completely and deeply now. Oh, oh, oh. Treat me like a treat me. Going so high in that part. Her versus Mariah Carey in a sing-off. Who winning? I ain't gonna lie. Shorty got the damn vocal cords if I ever seen them with my ears. Goodness gracious, bruh. Oh, oh, treat me like a treat me. Going so high in that part of the hook kind of happened naturally. Whenever I come up with melodies for a song, I love to just hear the track and I'll go and like I'll freestyle like maybe four to like six passes of the song. And there was one take where I was just falsettoing the whole thing and I really fell in love with that melody and it didn't feel right doing the octave lower. Dreamy, like a dreamy. It just didn't feel right going down there and I wanted it to feel really big and explosive. And after I cut it, it felt like a little bit of something was missing. So I was like, me being a big fan of Imogene Heap, I love the use of a good vocoder. And I what? <laughs> Yo, I go. Like <laughs> Yo, she's getting me weak because she just dropping names. I'm like, Yo, who are you talking about, <laughs> bro? <laughs> nah, I'm crying, bro. I'm dead weak. Like, Chloe's fire. Like, nah, I get the appeal, bro. I get the appeal. And like I said, I'm just keeping it honey. Like, this is once again, it's not me shooting no type of shot, but this is crazy. Like, she's she's dope. Like, she's just dope. Like, she's knowledgeable in music like you could tell she likes music a lot like you could tell she went to a vocal coach you could tell that she knows vocal range she you could tell she knows what she's doing she's a professional you know what i'm saying she's gonna be she's gonna be that like facts like a lot of people don't take they like bro you hear how crisp and clean her vocal sound in a damn interview this is crazy rappers don't be sound like their rapper voice you a rapper you ain't even really probably did nothing to your voice. You still don't sound the same. Come on, son. <laughs>
doing the octave lower, treat me like a treat me. It doesn't feel right going down there and I wanted it to feel really big and explosive. And after I cut it, it felt like a little bit of something was missing. So I was like, me being a big fan of Imogene Heap, I love the use of a good vocoder. And I know it's pop song and I know there was so much, but I was like, let's add it, it'll fill up the layers because I could have done it with my voice like I did with the outro, but I wanted it to feel a little like I felt like having a vocoder there made it feel a little more pop and a little more fun and dancey, and I really love it. Now, she a music nerd. So I said, uh, you know, I do that, but I love a good vocal coder. <laughs> so a music nerd. There made it feel a little more pop and a little more fun and dancey, and I really love it. Exceptional, you know, anything less is unacceptable. I feel like sometimes we tend to like see a yellow or red flag and be like, well, this is really nice about them. I'm just gonna go with the flow. But what we have to realize is that we all deserve the best. And if there's something that in our gut that makes us go, ah, uh, then we just gotta let it pass. So that's when I was like, exceptional. Anything less is unacceptable. I feel like a school teacher when I say that. Don't get me wrong, I'm flexible, but only in all the ways my legs can go confessional i'm skeptical because being on my level is difficult you know when some he said all the ways my legs can go <laughs> yo man this is a sensual song <laughs> like it like this is a sensual song like freaky ass. i know she a freaky ass. i ain't gonna lie she freaky ass boy i ain't gonna lie freaky ass facts no i'm skeptical because being on my level is difficult you know when someone constantly talks a good game and they're like, I could do this for you, I could give you this, I'm gonna make you feel like no one else has made you feel. It's like, that sounds really good. You can talk a good game, but I have high standards, so that's why I'm skeptical. But we're gonna see how it plays out. You could talk it, let me see you walk it. You better wake up and put me on a pedestal. I bet you know, I know, do you know? I understand who I am. I understand what I need and what I want. Do you? And it's like, if you come in to play the game, boy, play it by the rules. <laughs> I love this song because it's like, yes, there's deep meaning and messaging, but it's like those hints of sexy and playfulness, which I love. Like, we can never take ourselves too seriously. Nah, I wasn't, well, I guess kind of hints. It wasn't really too overt sexy, but I think because of how she delivers the lyrics, that's what gives off the sexy. Kind of gosh. Every time she would, every time she about to say something, Shorty, Shorty be like rubbing her thigh. Like every time she about to say something, Shorty be rubbing her thigh like, <laughs> and Shorty about to do a damn like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of these, one of these uh, genres. You know? Act was Chloe Haley doing her damn thing. I'm telling you, I don't think I've ever heard vocals that crisp on a Genius interview. Like she was probably sound like the actual song, probably better than the actual song. Cause the actual song probably got like, nah, I'm lying. She probably did like a whole bunch of background. Knowing the, the stuff she knows in music, the actual song probably is fire with like a whole bunch of extra uh, layering and stuff like that. She started talking about vocoders and all this extra stuff. Like she she definitely know what she's doing behind a mic in a booth with her vocal cords and them lips. You feel me? But you know, shout out to Chloe Haley. Um, treat me. Bump that. You feel me? I, pff, I'm probably going to have to treat myself to download that to my damn playlist. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. But ladies and gentlemen, you watching the video. Like the video. You this deep in the video? I like you. I love you. F like. I love you. You Wolfpack. Twin them. The fact that you got this deep in the video, you used to watch my face. Twin them. You my mans. Or my females. Because, you know, <laughs> look at this smile. I know I got a couple girls watching me too. A woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or whatever. And or, and or. But I'm only here for the women though. For me. The girls, go find you an adolescent to go do something with. But you, whoever you are, like the video. Subscribe to the LJS Reacts YouTube channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Definitely go ahead and follow Taylor L. Jazz on Instagram for more funny, satirical content. I'm also an interviewer, and I do my own interviews. And I also do genius skits. I also do genius skits. Haven't done one in a while, but you can see the, the various type of, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of like imitate rappers sometimes. And I, and I imitate the whole genius uh, scheme as well, and the, and the color scheme. is it's, it's pretty fire. You should check it out. It's on my Instagram. Feel me? Daily vlogs on my uh, YouTube channel. Feel me? Uh learn more about Taylor outside of me, reacting to some, to some music and visuals, you know what I'm saying? But, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz, and you're watching L. Jazz Reacts. It's the Big Reaper, and I'm back for the killing. When I get on the track, say what I'm actually feeling. I'm a murder, baby, you my next victim, maybe. Don't